Okay, in this presentation we're going to take a look at CQG's auto trading capability. My name is Doug Jansen. I'm a product specialist out of the Denver office. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and trade this two minute crude chart. The two channels that you see in orange here is what we're going to execute on. So if it hits the bottom channel we're going to buy and reverse our position at the upper channel and get short there. We will also use the money um, stop just in case the market goes against us. So in our formula window I've already got part of the trade system set up. The long side is set up. Our entry is going to be on the low channel and our exit will be on the high channel with a stop value of a hundred dollars or ten ticks in the crude market. So let's go ahead and put the short side together real fast. Okay, so our entry signal is going to be a limit. We will get short on the upper band and we will of course exit on the lower band. That will be a limit order once again. And then we will also risk a hundred dollars on the stop value. Okay, that's the trade system. Let's put it on the chart. It's called test three. Currently we are short from, I'd say, a good 30 minutes ago. So let's go ahead and turn on the auto trader. I'm first going to give it a name, so we'll call it TST3. I'll put this into a simulated account. The trade system again is TEST3. I'm going to type in CLE for the market we're going to trade. We're going to make sure that it's a two minute time frame. We're going to turn all the sessions on for the crude electronic crude market and we're going to look at continuation data. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the auto trading and you will see some orders come out which are working the channels. The orange dots you see on the trading interface, I actually have the rounding set to uh, round away from the market, so let's um, let's change that so it matches the actual orders. Okay, once again we're flat, so it's either going to get short when it gets up to 93.98, or in this case it hit 93.91, which we established a long position. Um, I must admit I forgot to turn on the stops on the entry bar, so once our next bar starts, we will have a 10 tick stop, which will be working down at 81. And there it goes. So that's a quick view of CKG's auto trading. And this is all included with our backtesting package. Again, Doug Jansen in the Denver office showing off the CKG auto trading interface.